and welcome to Made in Sheffield latest segment. This is Poor Reviews. In this series, we will be looking at reviews on TripAdvisor and Google Reviews to see how people rate these interesting places of interest. The best reviews are the bad reviews, so those are the ones that we're going to be looking at. So we're going to start off this week with The Monument and Westminster Abbey. Important site, but for you to get on top doesn't worth it. The monument itself is one of the significant and important landmark. The fee they charge for getting on top is which doesn't make sense. The staircase is narrow and at the top the view is obstructed with safety wire. Do, do you think they don't like the safety wire? It's, 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 it's to stop them jumping off. I can't take photos, especially with people jumping in the way. <laughs> We could avoid it. We could avoid it. This monument should be free entry. I don't recommend to no one. I got there on top, almost dead, for nothing. So why didn't they avoid it? They could have. Yeah, we could avoid it. It's a big monument. It's like a bit difficult to avoid though. Yeah, but they like... could avoid going in, but they didn't and decided to. Like... Yeah, you paid and then you complained about the price. <laughs> Well, there is not enough to really warrant w walking up there, up and down, if passing, pause a moment. Let's pause for a moment. Okay. <laughs> not worth it. This was a complete waste of time and money. This should be free, but they charge for it. In essence, it's a tower with steps and nothing else. <laughs> so a monument to one of the greatest tragedies London has ever faced is a bit crap because it's got stairs. Yep. Well, there we have uh, TripAdvisor's wonderful clientele view of the monument. Basically, it's lots of steps. There's lots of steps, there's wire mesh, and it's a big tower. Well, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll take a break there from the monument. We'll go over to Westminster Abbey. We'll start with myself with uh, Google reviews and see what they think. Now right, let's start off, first one, it was shut, 3.30pm, religious nonsense, it's a church, it's an old abbey, found by monks, of course it's going to have religious nonsense, didn't see any dogs, very disappointing, what, what the church, I thought TripAdvisor people were crazy, Google's evil word. Why would there be dogs in Westminster Abbey? Oh, yeah. Okay. No dogs. Closures earlier than advertised time. We arrived at 2.30pm. The advertised time closing time was 3pm, but we refused because there was a 20 minute queue. Terribly busy. Don't even bother queuing up. It says didn't. Oh, sorry. Didn't even bother so queuing up. So they didn't even go in, but they, uh, they think they can write a review for it. And, uh, and that's, uh, so that's what TripAdvisor thinks. Let's see if they're as stupid as Google. Abby was great, but the staff was super rude. On our day of visiting, we booked online tickets for 9.30 in the morning, mid-July, and we arrived just after 9 o'clock. We waited patiently in the line with other people until the door opens for more than 30 lady... Wait, for more than 30 minutes. When the door opens, there's this dark-skinned lady sitting comfortably inside the windows. When we showed her a picture of the ticket, she immediately said, very rudely, I can't accept this. Step in, step aside. Yes, she didn't even ask us to show her the email ticket, which of course we had. She didn't wait for a single second. We have to believe this rude manner is because she has discrimination. We are Asian people. <laughs> she has discrimination. Ah! Is it a disease? Yeah. Discrimination, I don't know. Basically, it's this item you get uh, when you kill five people and then boom, you have discrimination and you can use it. Oh, good. Yeah, it's got a 30 second cooldown. Big church. Big church, dead famous people, queue forever to get in, rip off to get in, can't talk loud when you do, can't do knee slides on the shiny bits and sauna ghosts. <laughs> I thought that was a serious thing. <laughs> Serious, you can't do knee slides. <laughs> can't do knee it's slides. important that you can do knee slides in the tourist attraction. <laughs> and he saw no ghosts whatsoever. Oh, that's sad because there's lots of dead people in there. So, 
you asked me in 2016, do you think this goes to now? <laughs> right, so we'll finish off now with the uh, Google reviews of the monument up to the Great Fire of London. Absolutely nothing special about this. It's a big sticky. <laughs> it's a big sticky uppy thing. Hard to get excited about. I'm sure a lot of people could get excited about a big sticky uppy thing. It's just depends what mood you. Yeah. If you're in Soho and you saw a big sticky uppy thing, I'm sure you'd get excited. I didn't want to. Sorry, I start again. I didn't visit this place. Okay. Nice feet to let us know. Is there anywhere else you didn't visit? Well, Maybe we'll find her. you again. So that was uh, Amma Bonzu. So we'll keep an eye on her, see where other places she didn't visit. The staircase to, up to the observation platform is extremely narrow and people are, are barely able to squeeze past each other on the way up and down. What really ruined the experience for me, however, is the very fine steel mesh they've installed at the top, which makes it impossible to take photos with a proper DSLR. So if you use a fake DSLR, you can get rid of the bird. It used to be free to go up in London, unlike most other museums in London. You have to pay now, and they've not even installed a lift. Winky face. With the winky face, I'm not sure whether or not that was a sarcastic comment. No, 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 they're, they're insinuating that because they pay, there should be a lift. It's, that kind of reviews Sponsored by Stan Astaire lift. No, um, no link to Stan Astaire lift. I'll, you'll be interested to see what the quote would be. <laughs> you get a lift. A lot of reviews have mentioned how narrow it is. So there wouldn't be place to put a lift. Never mind the fact that you'd be storing a, f like a monument to something that happened in 1666 and I think it was built not long after. It's like a 400 year old monument and let's just destroy it to put, put in a lift. Yeah, why not? No, entitled tourists. They've paid a lot to come over to this country. They want to see all these things with lifts. Right, so that, that wraps up all those idiots on the internet. Be, be wary. These people walk among us. These people are COVID-19 protesters who, who don't want protest in the lockdown. These are individuals that we give the right to breathe our air. But we love them because they're so stupid. You want to hear more of them? Write in the comments after you've liked and subscribed to the channel um, where you would want us to look at next to review. So this could be somewhere local to you, preferably somewhere where a lot of people know, but it doesn't have to be the most famous places like Westminster Abbey. It can be just someone where someone's heard of and have funny reviews. So leave those comments and uh, we'll give you a shout out if you do.